Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing a strong dynamic vinyasa flow. So we're going to be putting strength in the upper body, strength in the core, we're going to be moving a little bit more rhythmically and getting a little bit more of a sweat on. So even though we're going to be getting a sweat on, we're still going to be thinking a lot of calming and slowing the breath. So let's start off in child's pose, take the forehead either to the ground or onto your hands. Knees can be together or you can have the knees a little bit wider to give you a bit more space. And once you're feeling a little bit more settled, start to close the eyes down and listen to the breath. to feel your pelvis drag back down to your heels and feel your spine sliding forwards not moving just yet just getting into how the body feels Start to take a slightly longer and deeper breath, like you're, you're going through the breath in slow motion. And if you're familiar with the Ujjayi breath, start to engage the Ujjayi breath now. starting to reach the hands forwards, lengthen out through the spine, press the hands down then bring the body up, take the knees underneath the hips if they're not already, walk the hands back in line with the shoulders, tuck the toes and hover your knees just a couple of inches away from the ground, feel your spine lengthen, feel your navel draw in, Start to feel already a little bit of heat building in the body. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, send your pelvis back to the heels, but keep your knees hovering. And then bring your weight forwards back into the hands. Just once more like that, sending the pelvis back to the heels, keeping the knees hovering. And then bringing the shoulders back over the wrists. Taking the knees back down to the floor. Lift your feet away from the ground and just roll your feet three times one way and three times the other way. Take the toes back down to the floor, lift the knees and start to send the pelvis up and into a downward facing dog. So for this first round I'd like you to keep your knees bent. As you keep your knees bent, it means that you lengthen through the spine. So if you start to lengthen your legs and this happens, keep your knees bent throughout, whenever we come into down dog. So when you just have a think about your rib cage here, your rib cage might be dropping down quite a bit. So I want you to think about scooping your rib cage up and back towards your hips, and then let your head hang nice and heavy, and feel like your tailbone is extending up towards the ceiling and your heels are gliding down towards the floor. The knees can stay bent. Take another breath in. And a long breath out. As you inhale, walk your hands back towards your feet, arriving at the back of the mat. Let your torso dangle over the thighs. You let your head hang heavy. As you inhale, scoop the belly up and away from the thighs. Keep your head and fingers heavy as you roll yourself all the way up to standing. Press your feet down, feel your legs ignite. Then as your head comes up, feel it just float on top of the neck. Roll the shoulders up to the ears and let them slide down the back. As you inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Take them forward and up if you don't have space. Keep your rib cage gliding down towards your hips. And as you exhale, fold the body forward. Knees can stay bent just slightly. Inhale as you lengthen, bring the hands onto the shins or fingertips to the ground. As you exhale, walk your hands forwards into a plank pose. 
So once you're in your plank, I want you to look down towards your hands and spread your fingers nice and wide. Option at any point when we're in plank to bring the knees down to the floor so you're in a supported plank. From here, take your left hand onto your right shoulder, take left hand to the floor, then right hand onto left shoulder, right hand to the floor. Once more each time, left hand onto your right shoulder, left hand to the floor, right hand onto left shoulder, right hand to the ground. Bend the knees, bend the elbows, lower the chest. Inhale to lift the chest forwards into baby cobra and exhale to take the pelvis up and back into your downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet here, bend one knee and then the other, find the edges of your down dog. Maybe sway the hips, maybe lift one leg up if it feels good to do that. And maybe the other. Without any clicks that you might need. Bring yourself back into your downward facing dog and just have a little think if you need the knees to be bent slightly still. Keep the length through the spine. As you inhale, walk your hands back towards your feet, arriving at the back of the mat. Let your torso dangle over the thighs. Inhale, this time lengthen through the spine, halfway lift, flat back. Bend your knees and take your fingertips up towards the ceiling, Utkatasana. Then ground down through the heels and push the body up to standing. As you exhale, fold the body forwards. As you inhale, lengthen through the spine, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, walk your hands forwards into a plank pose. Remember, knees can come to the ground. Left hand onto the right shoulder, left hand to the ground. Right hand onto the left shoulder, right hand to the ground. Left hand onto right shoulder, left hand to the ground. Right hand onto left shoulder, right hand to the ground. This time, taking left toes back and up, Take them back down, right toes back and up. Take them back and down. Keep the breath smooth, left leg lifts up. Left foot comes down, right foot lifts up. Right foot comes down. Either knees chest like we did before or chaturanga, hovering at 90 degrees. Then inhale, lift up. And exhale, take it back. Downward facing dog. Feel your shoulders draw away from your ears and feel your arms internally rotate. Keep the heels heavy and feel your rib cage scoop together. As you inhale, walk your hands back towards your feet, arriving at the back of the mat. Bend the knees, release the spine. Inhale, lift chest forwards into halfway lift. Bend the knees so they're in line with your, uh, so your knees are in line with your hips and lift your fingertips up. Ground down through the heels, press down, lengthen the legs. Exhale, fold the body forwards. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, walk your hands forwards into a plank pose. Same thing again, left hand onto right shoulder, left hand comes down. Right hand onto left shoulder, right hand comes down. Left hand onto right shoulder, left hand comes down. Right hand onto left shoulder, right hand comes down. Left foot lifts up. Take it back down, right foot lifts up, take it back down, left foot lifts up, take it back down, keep breathing, right foot lifts up, take it back down. This time we're taking left foot back and maybe hovering the right fingertips forwards. Whee! Then take them back down, then right foot goes back, left arm hovers forward. Good, take it back down. Once more each side, left foot goes back, right hand reaches forwards. Take it back down, right foot reaches back, left arm reaches forwards. Take it back down, chaturanga or knees and chest. Inhale, lift up. Upward facing dog or baby cobra. And exhale, take it up and back into downward facing dog. As you inhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend the knees, release through the spine. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Bend the knees a little deeper, hips in line with knees. Reach the fingertips high, Utkatasana. Drive down through the heels, lengthen the legs. Exhale, fold the body forwards. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk hands into plank. Left hand onto right shoulder. Left hand goes down. Right hand onto left shoulder. Right hand goes down. Left hand onto right shoulder. Left hand goes down. Right hand onto left shoulder. 
right hand goes down, left foot toes, left, left toes reach back, left foot comes down, right toes reach back, right foot goes down, left toes reach back, left foot goes down, right toes reach back, right toes go down. Stay with me, left toes go back, right arm goes forwards. Take it back down, right toes go back, left arm goes forwards. Take it back down, left toes go back, right arm goes forwards. Take it back down, right toes go back, left arm goes forwards. Take it back down, good. Like we did before, bend the knees, send the pelvis back to the heels, hovering tabletop, and then reach it forwards into plank. Twice more like that, this is the last thing. Bending the knees, sending the pelvis back, reaching shoulders forwards. Last thing on the wrists, bending it back. Reaching the chest forwards, then take it down through your vinyasa flow. Inhale to your back bend, either up dog or baby cobra, and exhale, take it up and back into your downward facing dog. From here, bend the knees, and then take the backs of the hands to the ground. Just wiggle your knees a little bit further forwards if you need to. Then lengthen your arms and start to draw your shoulders back to stretch out the front of the wrist. Then turn the fingers to face the edges of your mat and start to sway the body from side to side. Good, now sit back onto your heels. Bend your right arm and drop your right wrist. Then take your left hand underneath your right fingers and curl your right fingers in towards your palm. Feel the length through the front of the wrist. Shake out the hands, do the same with the other arm. Bending the elbow, drop the wrist. Curl the fingers in towards the palm, feel the length through the front of the wrist. So give the hands a shake, take the hands forwards. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. As you inhale, take your right heel high into three-legged dog. As you exhale, bend your right knee and stack your right hip on top of the left. Inhale to lengthen right leg, drop the right hip. Exhale, step right foot in between the hands. Lower your left knee to the ground. Inhale, the arms lift up. Holding here for three breaths. Your body is strong. Your body is powerful. As you exhale, take left hand to the ground. Inhale, right arm lifts up. Three breaths. Taking the right hand back down to the floor, step your left foot up to the top of the mat. Lengthen through the spine, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold your body forwards. Inhale, bend the knees, swoop the arms, Utkatasana chair pose. Exhale, bring hands to heart centre. Holding here for three breaths. Look down towards your knees and see if you can see your toes beyond them. See if you can tuck your tailbone slightly further under. Send your pelvis a little bit further back. Take one more breath in. And one more breath out here. As you inhale, bring your right knee in towards your chest. Lengthen your left leg. As you exhale, fly your right leg back into warrior three, holding here for three breaths. See if you can lift that left hip up just slightly so you really start to engage the core. Power that right heel back to activate the right glutes and the right hamstrings. Take another breath in. As you exhale, bend into your left knee, take your right toes to the back of the mat. Lift the arms with the inhale, high lunge, holding here for three breaths. Can you activate the right glutes to send the right hip slightly further forward to get a deeper stretch into the right hip? Really strong through that left leg, grounding down through the left foot. Take another breath in. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Rotate to the left side. Right elbow goes onto the left side of left knee. Take an inhale to lengthen. Feel the top of your head drop forwards. And exhale to rotate and look over that left shoulder. If you need more stability, 
Take your right knee to the ground. Whoop. Then slide in the thighs together. Last breath here. Good, taking the hands back down to the floor. Press your hands down, peel your left foot away from the floor and squeeze the left knee in towards the chest. Try to touch the nose to the knee. Then inhale, take your left heel high into three like a dog. As you exhale, bring left knee to nose, squeeze and hover. Inhale, left heel lifts up into three like a dog. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, use the obliques to get the knee nice and high. Inhale, left heel lifts up. Exhale, left knee across the body, right elbow touches the left knee. Inhale, left leg lifts up. From here as you exhale, roll the shoulders over the wrists to find your plank pose. And as you exhale, either lower three-legged chaturanga or regular chaturanga or knees and chest. Inhale to lift the heart up. Exhale to take it up and back into your downward facing dog. If you've got some energy left, walk your hands just a hand length back towards your feet, shortening your down dog. Take your right hand over to your left thigh, calf or ankle. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to rotate. Oop, I've got a necklace in my mouth. Rotate and look underneath your left armpit. Keep your ribcage squeezing together. Tailbone lifting up, heels nice and heavy. One more breath. Exhale, take your right hand to the ground, just readjust your down dog, see it back in centre. As you inhale, left heel lifts up into three legged dog. As you exhale, bend your left knee, stack your left hip on top of the right, shine the pelvis to the left hand side. Inhale, lengthen, drop the left hip down. Exhale, bring your left foot in between the hands and take your right knee to the ground. Inhale, lift the arms up, keep your core nice and lengthened and navel drawing up and back towards your rib cage. Press down through the left foot. Be kind to your body if any thoughts start to come in. Let them go and come back to the breath. Take right hand to the ground. Keep left arm lifting up, rotate. Three breaths. One last breath in here. Exhale, take left hand to the ground. Step your right foot up to the top of the mat. Lengthen through the spine, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold the body forwards. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms, Utkatasana, chair pose. Bring the hands to heart centre. Shift your weight a little bit further back into the heels. Really bend through the knees. Can you get your pelvis down in line with your knees? Really working on building strength through the quads. Keep powering down, keep breathing. Your body is strong and powerful. The next inhale, left knee comes into the chest, right leg lengthens. As you exhale, slide the left leg back into warrior three. Keep that right hip drawing up, scooping belly in, and really try to press the, the back of the rim away with your left foot. Really strong, whole way through the body. One more breath in. Exhale, let that right knee soften. Take the left toes to the back of the mat. Inhale, the arms lift up, and you're in your high lunge. Can you engage the glutes on the left side a little more to get more length through the front of the left hip? Can you bend deeper into the right leg to build more strength through the right thigh? Take another breath in here. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. Rotate to the right side, left elbow over to right knee. Inhale to find space and length. Exhale to rotate and look over the right shoulder. Option to lower the left knee to the ground if you need stability. Keep inner thighs gliding together. See if you can press your hands together to get a little bit more rotation through the upper body. Take one more breath in. Exhale, take hands to the ground. Step your left foot up to the top of the mat. Lengthen through the spine, halfway lift flat back. Exhale, fold. I did that wrong. We're stepping the left foot back. 
coming from here and our rotation. One more breath in. One more breath in. Exhale, take hands down to the ground. Scoop the belly in, press the hands down, bring your right foot away from the floor, right knee comes into chest, hold the knee to the nose. Inhale, right heel lifts up into your three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to nose, scoop the belly in, hold. Inhale, right heel lifts up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow obliques. Inhale, right heel lifts up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, cross the body. Inhale, right heel lifts up. Exhale, roll the shoulders forwards into three-legged plank. Then take it through your vinyasa flow. Maybe it's a three-legged chaturanga. Inhale to lift the heart up into your back bend. And exhale to take it up and back into your downward facing dog. If you went with me before, walk your hands a hand length back towards your feet, just shortening your down dog. Left hand goes over to right thigh, calf or ankle. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to rotate and look underneath the right armpit. Can you press the floor away with your right hand? Find more strength through the body. Relax your jaw. Last breath in. And exhale, take the left hand to the ground. Bend the knees. Have three breaths in child's pose. If you're still up for more strength, Come into your dolphin pose, walking the toes towards the elbows. We're going to do that flow again, just so you know whether you want to rest or whether you want to go into dolphin. But we're just going to move now a little bit more rhythmically. So no holds in between poses, just moving fluidly through the flow. So when you're ready, let's all meet back up in downward facing dog. Give the head a little shake. To make sure you're not holding on to any tension and your body still feels strong and the breath is still calm. As you inhale, right heel lifts up, three-legged dog. Move with your breath, exhale, bend the right knee, stack the right hip on top of the left. So it's almost like the body never stops moving here. Inhale, right leg lifts up, lengthen. Exhale, step right foot in between the hands, lower left knee to the ground, same exhale. Inhale, the arms lift up. Exhale, left hand to the ground. Inhale, right arm lifts to find your twists. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Step your left foot up to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, right knee comes into chest. Exhale, extend right leg back into warrior three. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, lower right toes to the back of the mat. Inhale, the arms lift up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center, rotate to the left side. Inhale, lengthen, rotate. Exhale, hands to the ground. Inhale, left knee comes into chest, left leg lifts into three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee comes to nose, scoop the belly in. Inhale, left heel lifts up, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, hold. Inhale, left heel lifts up, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, hold. Inhale, left heel lifts up. Exhale, roll shoulders over wrists, keep the left leg lifted, chaturanga, or take it through and back straight away into your downward facing dog. Same, uh, we're going on the left leg again, left heel lifts high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the left knee, stack the left hip on top of the right. Inhale, lengthen left leg, keep the body moving. Exhale, step left foot in between the hands. Lower right knee to the ground. Inhale, the arms lift up. Exhale, right hand to the ground. Inhale, left arm lifts and you rotate. Exhale, left hand down, step right foot up to the top of the mat. Lengthen through spine, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, bend the knees, swoop the arms, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. Inhale, left knee comes into chest. Exhale, slide left leg back into your warrior three. Take a deep breath in. 
Exhale, left toes find the back of the mat. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, rotate to the right side, left elbow to right knee. Inhale here, rotate. Exhale, take hands to the floor, plant them down. Inhale, right leg lifts up into three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to nose, pause. Let's really work the abdominals. Inhale, right heel lifts up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. You're strong, keep breathing. Inhale, right heel lifts up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, twist. Inhale, right heel lifts up. Keep that right leg lifted, roll the shoulders over the wrist, chaturanga or knees and chest. Inhale to find a strong back bend, either up dog or baby cobra, and exhale to take it all the way back into your downward facing dog. Take the knees now to the ground, walk your hands towards the front edges of your mat, and let your chest and heart melt to the floor. Melting heart pose or puppy dog pose. here walk your hands back good and come up to your knees so we're going to take the right leg forwards and we're going to come into a hamstring stretch so if you've got bricks or you've got bricks at home you can use your bricks underneath your hands if you haven't you can use uh, big books if you don't have any bricks or if you don't have anything you're going to follow me so you're going to take your fingertips to the floor just so your arms for a little bit longer then you can start to wiggle your right foot slightly further forwards. Then you're going to flex your right foot and you're going to draw your right hip back. So you might need to start with the leg quite bent to make sure you're not doing this with your spine. So we're all going to meet in this pose either on bricks or fingertips to the ground. Take an inhale to lengthen through your spine and exhale to fold over your right leg. So you might want to keep this leg bent if you already feel the stretch, or if you want to go a little deeper, start to extend that right heel forwards. Keep the right toes flexed though, so you're really activating the back of the leg. Another inhale to lengthen, and exhale, scoop the belly in to fold a little bit further forwards. Breathe in here. Take another inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold a little deeper. Good, inhale to lengthen. For this la these last two breaths, I want you to actively press that right heel to the ground. Notice what happens in your right leg. Keep your right toes flexed, relax your jaw, take one more breath in, and then release the right leg. Good, so we're gonna turn your left toes towards the right hand side. You're gonna come up to face the other side of the room. So I'm not mirroring you now, you can actually face the other side. And you're gonna flex the right leg, flex the right foot. Keep your hands on your hips to start off with, just to make sure one's not poking up higher than the other. Then you're gonna lift your left arm up and take a stretch towards your right leg. So the hand can rest on the shin, but try not to put any pressure there, so you're keeping yourself nice and strong. Don't go so far that you feel like you can't come back up. But if you reach, you can start to take your first two fingers around the right big toe. Take that bind and then take a nice long stretch through the left hand side of the body. Keep the right toes drawing back. Maybe starting to move the head a little from side to side. Just checking in on the rest of the body to make sure you're still feeling quite calm through this weird pose. Take another breath in. You can use the exhale to engage the core, lift the body back up. Take the left hand to the floor, turn your left toes towards your right heel just slightly, then sink your bum down to the ground. We're gonna come up into a half a wild thing, so pressing the hips forwards, coming onto the left shin, right fingertips reach all the way back. And as you exhale, we're gonna bring it back down. We're going to do that three more times. Inhale to lift and look up. Exhale to bring it back down with control. Inhale, lift and look up. Reach the right arm back. 
Exhale, bringing it back down. Last time, inhale, lift and look up. Good, exhale, bring it back down. Now turn to face the front of your mat. Left foot to the inside of the right leg. Right leg reaching forwards. Take an inhale to lengthen through the spine. Again, your right knee might be slightly bent. And exhale, you're going to fold the body forwards. So if you want to, you can keep that leg bent or you can start to extend it if it feels okay for your back. Then maybe taking the hands around the foot if you reach. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to draw yourself a little bit closer. Remember, be kind to yourself. If your pose doesn't look like mine, that's okay. Take the fingers to the floor. Keep lengthening through the spine. Drawing the chest forwards, easing your way down. I do these stretches all the time, so there's a reason why my muscles are quite long. My hamstrings are long, but I don't have a lot of flexibility in my hips. So you just have to work with how your body is feeling day to day, minute by minute, hour to hour. And don't judge. Just let yourself settle in to your stretch. So as you inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, bring the body back. Take both soles of the feet to the ground. Turn your toe fingers to face towards your pelvis. Press both hands and feet down. Lift the hips up and look up towards the ceiling. Keep the navel drawing in. See if you can find a little bit more height through the pelvis. Draw the shoulders back so you get a nice stretch through the shoulders as well. Keep pressing down through the balls of the first fingers. So really letting the muscles of the wrists grow strong instead of putting um, any pressure onto the outside of the wrists. One more breath in, and exhale, release it down. Nice guys. So you can either have a rest here, you can take the body forward, you can just take a rest if you need to, and uh, you can shake your hands. If you wanna go a little further with me, feet and hands to the ground, lift the hips. Then you're gonna scoop your belly in and try to draw your pelvis in between your arms without taking the pelvis to the ground. Then once you're there, you lengthen the legs. And then you bend the knees again. Try not to take the pelvis to the floor. Lift the hips up. And we're gonna do that twice more. We're gonna exhale to take it back. Inhale to bring it forwards. Let's do it once more. Exhale to take it all the way back. Scoop belly in, press heels down. And then inhale to bring it back up. And then exhale, take the pelvis to the floor, well done. Cross the legs over, take the hands on the outer edges of your shins, draw the feet towards the thighs, lengthen the spine, draw the belly up towards the thighs, take another breath in, hover on your sit bones and then swing yourself forwards, take the hands in to plank pose, legs go back. You can either take it through a vinyasa flow or take it back into down dog. I'm gonna go for a modified Chaturanga into baby cobra and exhale to take it back into downward facing dog. I'm going to give the feet a little wiggle, pad them out, pedal out and pad. They both work. Good and then just dropping the knees to the ground. Bringing the body upright, taking the hands onto the hips. I'm going to send left leg forwards. So again, grab your bricks if you use your bricks or big books. If you don't have any books, take your fingertips to the ground. Then start to shuffle your left foot slightly forwards, but keep that left hip back. Then flex the left toes. So that knee can be bent. Take an inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. And if it feels comfortable to start to drive the left heel forward so you can lengthen that left leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And in these very challenging stretches, really think about slowing the breath down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Good. 
inhale, lengthen for these last two breaths. Actively press your left foot to the ground like you're trying to push the ground away from you. Activate the back of the leg. Let another breath in and release it out. Turn your right toes towards the left side of the mat. Come upright, take hands onto hips, flex your left foot. Keep hands on hips, or uh, keep the left hand on hip, right arm is going to lift up, take a stretch over towards the left side. Either holding here, putting a little hand rest on the left shin, again no pressure. Or if you reach, first two fingers around the big toe, keep the heart open as you stretch. Keep the navel engaged, drawing back and up. Let the pubic bone lift up towards the rib cage. Use the inhale to lift the body up, scooping in the core. Take the right hand to the ground, turn the left toes towards your right toes, sorry, towards your left foot. Take the pelvis to the floor. Coming up into a baby wild thing, push the hips, lift up onto the right shin, left arm reaches back, and exhale to bring it down. <clears throat> Three more times like that, inhale to lift up, flow with the breath, exhale to bring it down. For these last two times, really imagine your breath is like a pendulum, so it, it swings to one side, it pauses right at the edge of the breath and it exhale, bring it back down. And let your body move like that as well. Last one, inhale, lift it up, find the edge of the movement and breath together. Exhale, bring it back down. Lovely, then looking towards the front of your mat, right foot to the inside of the left thigh, left toes flex. Fingertips to the floor again, use that to help lengthen up the spine. Left knee can be bent, remember, and then fold the body forwards. And maybe starting to reach, taking the hands around the left foot, if that feels comfortable. Lengthen and fold. Can you hear your breath? And where is your breath sitting now in the body? As you inhale, let the spine lengthen. As you exhale, bring it back down. Good, taking both feet to the ground again, taking hands to the floor behind you, pointing fingertips towards your pelvis. Press feet down, lift hips up, keep navel drawing in. If you're feeling comfortable here, you can stay here. If you're not feeling comfortable, feel free to come down to rest. You can even come down to lie on your back. Make sure you don't miss Shavasana. Taking the hips up, we're gonna lift, lift the right leg up if you're feeling strong. Pressing down through the left foot, then taking right leg back down. Then left foot lifts up, pressing up through the right hip. Taking the foot back down. Once more each time, right leg lifts up, taking the foot back down. Maybe you can feel a little shake in the body. That's all good. Making the body really strong, building resilience. Taking it to the final pose, right leg goes forwards, making sure your wrists are happy. Maybe the left leg joins. Push the heels down, then lift the hips up. Look up towards the ceiling, keep breathing, really feel strength, strength building in your body. It's really hard to talk and do this at the same time. Take one more breath in, see if you can push your hips a little higher, and exhale, release it out. Oh, bend your knees, let your body just drape forwards. So we're going to shift the hips forwards, roll the body down onto the back. So we're going to go for a really comfy stretch 
here. So we're going to lengthen the right leg away. Send the right knee over towards the left side, like you're coming into a twist. And then you're going to turn onto your front. And you're going to rest there like this. So if you don't really know what I've just said, I'm going to show you how this looks against the wall. So you'll be lying on your front, left arm bent, right arm resting beside the body, right knee up towards the right elbow. So that you get a little bit of an opening through the right hip, you get a little bit of an opening through the left shoulder, but it's really gentle and it's really relaxing. Another breath in here. And then exhale, slide the right leg away. Take your elbows underneath your shoulders, coming into a sphinx. Any tightness in the lower back or any pinching in the lower back, take your feet nice and wide. Chest actively draws forwards, lift the face towards what would be now the back of the room, depending on which way you're facing. Let the abdominals relax quite a bit. Use them a lot. Last breath in. Exhale, slide the hands forward, slide onto your belly. Going on to the other side, so bringing the right leg to the centre of the mat. Left knee draws up towards the left elbow, right arm bends. So again, you're in this shape. I'll show you just in case. You're in this shape on the floor, looking over towards the left hand. Just let your body melt down into the ground. The body has done a lot for you just now. So really take time to appreciate. Any way you like now, really heavily roll yourself onto your back. Let it be quite heavy and floppy. And then bring yourself down into your Shavasana. So as you rest here now, feeling the body become more heavy, more grounded, feel the muscles begin to relax. And as the muscles begin to relax, feel them spread. Let your body soak up all the goodness that it just did. Feel the muscles. So 
stay here for as long as you like. But when you're ready to come out, start to give your fingers a tiny bit of movement. And I've been lying down for quite a while. My, the joints in my fingers feel just a little bit creepy. Feeling yourself tap into those sensations. Bringing a bit more mindfulness into your body. There are sensations that we feel all the time that we are unaware of. And we can choose to bring these new things into focus. You don't always feel the sensation of the tips of the fingers. You don't always feel the sensation of the soles of the feet, but you can feel them if you bring your awareness to them. That's all that mindfulness is. Give yourself a stretch on all the feet, on your ankles, the wrists. Bring the knees into the chest, hug them in and sway yourself from side to side. And slowly bring yourself up and out into a comfortable seat. Take care everyone. I hope you had a lovely, lovely practice and I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, if you could please, please subscribe, if you could also please um, join us online for an online membership, that would be really, really helpful just to support us. I want to keep yoga accessible for everyone, so I want everyone to be able to have yoga, um, especially during this time. But if you can um, help support, we've got a Patreon link down below in the comments. If you could click on that link, you can leave a donation. It can be a monthly subscription or it can be just a one-off pledge. Um, there's lots of exciting new things coming as well. We've got workshops, we've got yoga nidra sessions, we've got yin sessions, we've got new teachers as well, or the teachers that te usually teach at the studio, so they're just my face all the time. Um, we've got lots of new things coming, new fun challenges, so daily challenges coming up, um, and some HIIT workouts as well. So I'm really, really excited to share that with you all. I hope you're all having a lovely day. I already said that. Let's close this off now. Thank you guys. Have a good one.